Jack Lord was the star of Hawaii Five O, and Hawaii Five O was one of the shows that we developed. A man named Leonard Freeman brought me an idea about a hotel detective who worked for a chain of hotels on Waikiki, and I told him I thought it was a little too limiting in the idea, and and I asked him if Hawaii had a state police. And he said he didn't know, but he'd find out. Turned out they didn't have a state police, but he said he didn't care. And he liked that state police idea, and he took that notion and made it into Hawaii Five-O, which allowed his hero to do far more things than a hotel house detective would do. And we worked three months trying to cast that show. And Lenny could not make up his mind. It's getting time to make the pilot now. And he finally settled on an actor named Bob Brown, who I haven't heard of before or since. And he and Paul Wenkos, the director of Hawaii Five O Pilot, were so enthusiastic. And they all got on the boat and their plane and went over to Hawaii. And we're going to make this wonderful script Lenny's read. And three days before the shooting, he calls up. He says, Bob Brown is wrong for the part. He is wrong for the part. I said, how can you say this to me after three months? You've interviewed the world for this part. Bob Brown is wrong for this. What are we going to, well, we got to get somebody else. I mean, we had a huge investment in this thing by now. Were you going to do it on location? In Hawaii. The first big show ever done on a location, in, I think of its size ever. And we had Jack Lord under contract to, be, to appear in a Western. We were writing a script for him. And Ethel Winant was the one who said, hey, we got this guy here. How... He, I said, he'd be wonderful, but Lenny Friedman said he wouldn't work with Jack Lord if he was the last actor in Alive. So I told Lenny, uh, how about Jack Lord? I wouldn't work with him if he was the last actor in the world. I said, well, we got a problem here. He'd be perfect, uh, but I didn't want to go to Jack if Lenny was going to turn him down. So I just practically cried, and Lenny came over from Hawaii and met with Jack. I don't know what happened in that meeting. But Jack later told me after he read the script, he would have rowed in a boat with two oars to Hawaii to get that part. And he got the part, and he, he was so dedicated to Hawaii Five-O. Everything in that, Leonard was a great producer, but Jack came to be the soul of Hawaii Five-O. Lenny passed away, and other people came, and Jack kept that sh the integrity of the show he was very difficult because he wanted everything to be just so. He was very particular, but I think it was because of him at the center of that show that it held together for so many years.